Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my third storing photo cards video. This time I feel like I have a little bit more than usual. These are all the photo cards I'll be putting away. And then for bigger inclusions, I actually have a lot more than I usually do as well. So really excited for that. With the photo cards, I don't have to sort them because I already split them by binders. So we'll have my old binder, but we'll do that last. And then I'm gonna start with my not old binder. So starting with this binder, we have Treasure Up First, and I did go through actually and do, I redid my cover pages again because I just didn't really like how I did it before. You'll probably see this changing a lot because I, I think it's really fun to make new ones and just, I don't know, I really enjoy it. So, but for now, I like how they are. Also, in my last Storing Photo Cards video, you might remember if you saw it, I said I would redo kind of these pages because I didn't like how... I had the first presses on the back. I don't like putting photo cards on the back of pages. So I redid everything and I really like how it is. I put the first presses and k time for using the back on their own pages. So this is everything I have to put away for treasure. A lot of it is just these like bookmark and scratch cards because I wanted to store them. Yeah, I'm gonna put away all of these photo cards. I've been trading for Hyunsuk a lot really excited to get closer to completing his collection. For chapter one, I just have two of these cards. This one is still in the way. I actually just recently traded for that. We have his white concept version. Also, I'm not sure like which concept it is, so it, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just gonna be putting it in one of them. I don't really mind which one. His selfie, which actually this is one of my favorite photo cards of him. I love the like greenish bluish hair. And it's just very, really, I like it a lot. So that's chapter one. It's doing okay, I'm about halfway done. And then for chapter two is actually the saddest page. Well, other than treasure effect. I don't have a lot of chapter two. I still need like all the black version cards, but yeah, well, it's okay. We'll get that done eventually. But where the excitement comes is chapter three. This page is going to be complete. I have every card for this page, which is like so exciting. I'm really excited to be putting all of these away. So we will start with the white selfie version. I love that this and the black selfie version match. I think it's kind of really cute. And then this white concept, this one for some reason is like so different than all the others. I guess it's normal for the concept, but yeah, I don't remember. I think this one goes here. Also, like I said, they might need to be switched, but I'm not really sure I'd have to look at the template that I follow. And then the black versions. So it's so exciting. I love how it looks. We have all the chapter three normal album cards. And then I still actually need the first press, but it, I'm not gonna be putting it on this page. So that is complete. For Treasure Effect, I just have one orange concept card. Yeah, I need to work on Treasure Effect, but it's 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 coming along okay. I think I found a trade. I'm not sure what it was for because I didn't mark it, but I will do that. For the K-Time Review cards, I actually only have three of them. I have the Chapter 1 and then the Treasure Effect ones. This Chapter 1 K-Time For You is my favorite K-Time For You of Hyunsuk. Ever. I love it so much. I think it's really adorable. And then the treasure effect K Time for Use, which are also so so cute. This one is my favorite. Love it so much. I don't know. I'll just put the selfie first and then the concept. So yeah, there's the K Time for You page. I don't put these on a huge priority, but I do like to collect them. And with the first press page, this is what I did. I just put them on their own page and then put three baby cards in the middle because it just fills some space and I had them so. Yeah, I just have the uh, treasure effect first press to put away. I still am missing chapter three. Not sure when I'm gonna get that, but the album cards, like the normal album cards are my main priority for Hyunsuk, so, but I will definitely get that eventually. Very exciting to have that almost complete though. Back here, I have everything extra for chapter one and two. I just put them all, all each album on their own page and then treasure effect. This Doyoung, it used to be a Doyoung first press, but I recently traded it for something. I'm not sure what, probably that chapter one 
photo cards so yeah and then these are so just some freebies here is where i wanted to put all of the like bookmarks i think they're bookmarks i don't know just these things that come in the albums that are not photo cards so i'm gonna put all of these on this first page And the only reason I'm putting these in sleeves is so they don't move around. Like honestly, I don't really care about these. I just needed somewhere to put them. Cause I don't I'm not just gonna like get rid of them, but they're hard to for me to keep in the album because if I ever pull the album out, it always just falls out somehow. I don't know. These I don't really care about like at all, but I'm just gonna put them in here for now. In the future, of course, I'll probably end up taking them out and like finding somewhere to put them. But I don't know why, I just want to put them in here. The Treasure Effects ones I actually haven't scratched yet. I just haven't done it. I don't really care to. I honestly don't really mind. It's also very unlikely that I do get it, so yeah. We'll keep those in there for now, only temporary. It's actually really nice to have a lot of new fillers I can use because I need more white pages. I don't have anything for Stray Kids. I did want to say that I actually left, this is the only collection I wanted to leave this filler for because I actually like it. It's like the only one I was not, that I liked, you know. For Chidang, I don't have anything. I have a couple cards coming for her, but they're not here yet. So for Joy, I actually have stuff from her new album, her solo, Hello. So I'm really excited to put all these away. She'll actually go in the back here right after where Finale is gonna go. So I'll, I'm not sure, I think this is the photo book version and this is the case version. I don't even know if it's the first one, but I just made these fillers like last minute. So if they're wrong, I will fix them. I love these photo cards so much though. This one's my favorite, but they're both so adorable. I need to add a page for her. I think I'll just put everything in this four pocket. There's actually another Polaroid. I'm not sure where it is. Here it is. It is this one. And yeah, so it came with three Polaroids and then this like four photo sticker. I think I'll do probably this one first. I'm pretty sure there's not like an actual order that these are supposed to go in, but I love how they fit so perfectly in this four pocket. I do kind of wish there was four though. I feel like that'd be much more satisfying. But I'll just put this in here for now. It doesn't really fit that well, but it's okay. So that was everything for Joy. And next we have the last section, which is just like other or extra groups that I don't collect. I just keep them back here or things that are like on hi hiatus. So I'm going to be putting away some black pink photo cards. I don't collect them, of course, but I will be storing their stuff because I love it. And I bought their album as you may have seen in my collective haul so we'll add a page for black pink and these are what i pulled in the version 4 album of the album so i'm gonna do probably the uh s like solo cards first i pulled rose which is super exciting because she's my bias so i was really happy about that and then we have the group ones. These are really adorable. I love them so much. Yes, so I'll be putting these right underneath the solo cards. And then I'll just leave it like that for now. I don't think I'll probably buy any more of their albums, but if I ever do in the future, then they can go right there. We'll add a three pocket for the larger inclusions, which is perfect because this is actually a horizontal inclusion. I'll put on top here. And then I'll do Jisoo first because she's older, I guess. I guess I should switch the photo cards then as well. There we go. So now we have age order. Perfect. I love, love, love these inclusions. I'm so glad that I bought this album. And now we can go to the next binder, which is my old binder. Here's my old binder. I still have the same cover. I also redid the covers in this binder as well. First up is One Us, but this is everything I have to store in this binder overall. 
all the oneness cards I have are right here, so I'll be doing this group first. Oneness is really exciting because they are one of my ults and I love collecting for them, so for lived, I have Dongju's red version to put away. I feel like I'm doing alright on lived. It's not like complete yet, I still am missing like three cards, but it's very close to being complete. I just have these two photo cards. I have a Wung and a Connie. The white version is probably my favorite out of both, but I love how this is coming along. It's very, very nice looking. I love it so much. And for Devil, we have quite a few things. So everything I have for Devil is right here. So for this first page, we just have these three. I did sort these by more like members so that I can have full pages. I think that would be much more satisfying. We have Young Jo's green version. I really like this one of him, probably my favorite out of his whole set, but I also like this one, so yeah. So his yellow version. Love this one so much of him. I love Soho. He is definitely one of my biases. For Ido, this card is the most gorgeous thing ever i love it so much probably like my one of my top favorite cards of devil overall like i just love this ito card so much for this page i have two things a connie and a dongju this is the black version for connie the yellow version for dongju this card is also one of my very top favorites of devil overall it is so adorable i love it so much so it's actually kind of sad i don't have any wound yet I, I just i don't know why i didn't do anything it just i just haven't found any trades for him i guess i don't know but i definitely want to get his of course because he's my bias but i do have his scratch card though which i was so happy when i pulled this so we'll be putting his away right next to dongju so happy that i have my biases for this and then i have the dongju slide film I actually like these, I don't know why. I just think they're really cool. This is their new album, Binary Code. Super exciting. I actually pulled the Soho set, which is iconic. I love Soho so much. So super excited to put his away. I think this is the Zero version, so we'll do this one first. And then his One version. The One version is definitely my favorite out of the two. I do have this one on the way, I bought it, but it is not arrived yet. For my extra page, I just have these two freebies or like pre-order things that I got from Choice Music LA again, and I just got two this time because there was only two albums, I'm, I'm guessing that's why, I'm not sure. So we have Wung and Dongju. That's everything for this page and photo cards. Bigger inclusions that I have for One Us are these two freebies, and then I also have these bigger inclusions and tarot cards. So we will start with my Raven postcard. I actually love collecting these postcards. It's so much fun. I think they're really awesome, and I'm really excited to get more. So, and then for big cards or tarot cards, I have some things for devil so we have Wung's yellow version so i'll just put the white paper in here and then put this one on the back and then Wung's version these kind of slide around a lot but i don't really care it's okay and then for the green version i have young joe's so oh this is actually his black version but i also have his green it's kind of annoying having these back to back because it, like, if I want to put one in the back, then I have to keep this here. I don't know. It's kind of hard, but it's not not a big deal. And then I have Young Jo's black version as well. There's that. It's coming along okay. It's not really... I only have two for each version, but I think I don't really care to collect these as much, but I do want to as of now. I think in the future I might drop collecting the tarot cards. But for now, I really want to because I actually like them. So for the tarot cards for binary code, 
I pulled a Yangjo and Ido. So we will be putting away Yangjo's first. I pulled his one version and then I pulled Ido's zero version. So those are actually going back to back. So yeah, for these bigger postcards, I'll just add two more in the back here. I pulled Yangjo and Ido and we'll just add a two pocket page. We'll do Yangjo's first. I actually like these, even though they're technically freebies, the company that I bought from just sent me them, so. But I like them, so they're okay for now. Next group is Wavy, and I love what I have for Wavy. I just have some extra inclusions that I pulled from an album that I got, and then this Yang Yang photo card. And I also have a bigger inclusion postcard. So we will start with Yang Yang's Stranger version from Kickback, their newest album. I love, love Yang Yang's photo cards. I think they're so cute. And then I wanted to add an extra page for the extra cards. I don't know why I always do this, but like at the end of every group, I just add an extra page for any cards I need to trade or anything. It works out for me. But yeah, I'm looking for a trade for probably 10, 10's equivalent for the Win Win card. And then I have this Lucas Circle card that I would also like to trade for 10 or Yang Yang. So yep, I love, love those inclusions. And then we'll do the postcard, which I pulled Saojun for. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this envelope, but for now I'm gonna put it over here in the side because I don't really have anywhere else to put it. But it was perfect because his is horizontal and it comes before kickback, so it will go perfectly up here on top. But yeah, for Wavy or any group really, I don't collect bigger inclusions, so I'll just put whoever I pull back here. For NCT 107, I don't have anything to put away today. I did actually want to show that I ended up taking all of my like OT9 sets that I'm collecting and put them put actual fillers in because before I just had them shoved on one page or like two pages so I put all the fillers in there's actually quite a lot that I still have left to collect but I'm really excited to collect those sets and then for Jungwoo I don't have anything but since I'm collecting a few OT9 sets I had to put the Jungwoo cards in here as well because I really hate the 8 layout so I'm probably just gonna keep his over here it actually worked out perfectly because the circle cards that I have for Jungwoo were, and I don't collect circle cards, they were the ones that I needed to collect OT9 sets for. Same versions as the photo cards. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it was perfect, so I just put them in here for now. And then these are my extra things for 127. And then Dream. So for Dream, I actually do have some stuff. I'm so excited for this. I actually have Chanla's complete set for hot sauce yes and then also jason seven dream card i pulled a double of this and then i also pulled hey chan but i traded those so we'll be putting away all of these up here today i actually also have the hot uh the hot sauce cafe seven dream card on the way this one but it hasn't arrived to me yet it should arrive pretty soon i don't know it's been a while but i think it's coming from a different country so and then also i need his ar stuff but i recently like got a trade for the clip card but i'm not sure if it's actually going to be like something i'm doing yet i just i might be able to trade for that and then for hello future it's on the way it's their new album i'm so excited for it Oh my gosh, it was so cute, and the music video and everything was adorable. So if you haven't seen the new album, you should definitely check it out. And then I'll add an extra page for Jisung's card. So I do, this is the card that I'm trying to trade for Chunla's clip card, but I'm gonna keep it in here for now because I'm not sure if that trade is going to work out yet. These, when I put them in flimsy sleeves, it like airs up weird. So I have to flatten it out, but yes. And then I didn't actually add a page, but this is for NCT group altogether. So 
Um, I don't have any resonance for 10, but I do have a Jungwoo on the way. I don't know why I marked that it's here. It's not here yet, but I do have this past version on the way. And then no Yang Yang or Chama, but yeah, I think that's everything for NCT. Nothing for Chu this time. We do have some Idol, which they're both actually just extra cards. I think it's okay though. I put this Soyon in like a holographic sleeve because it's like the most adorable card ever. Even though I don't collect her, I just wanted to put her in the sleeve because it just is a beautiful card. I think I'm gonna put them on their own page back here. I already have an extra card, so we don't have to add a page. I also pulled Shuha's draw card right here. So yeah, we just have three extra cards. I'm still trying to trade these for Wookie, so if you're interested, let me know. I just need to put away these two inclusions from their I Burn album. We need to add this two pocket page. These actually probably would fit in like a four pocket or three pocket, but since there's only two of them, I'm just gonna be putting them in here for now. And I don't really care for these as much because they're not photos, so yeah. But I pulled, I don't, I'm not sure who this is, but this is Sujin's. Next up is Shiny. For Shiny, I have five photo cards to store today. Uh, I have Taemin card from Advice. This, I think, is an AR. I still don't even know if that's true, but it's the only, like, far away one, I think, so. Yeah, this is the one I pulled, though, and then I still need his other two ones. I do want to collect Advice for his other solo cards. I don't really collect them fully right now, but I did want to collect Advice because I love them so much. And I don't have any of his cards for Shiny, but... It's funny because I actually do have all of the cards, most of them at least, but I don't have Taemin, if that makes sense. So like I have a lot of these cards, but I don't actually have Taemin's, I have other members. And then also Mino, this card is an, another extra card. I think I'm going to take him out and just leave these freebies on here. I'll add a page for the new cards. Or like the more official ones i think th i think this one goes first i'm not sure but i don't really care about order because i'm not going to be keeping these i'm trading them and then we i did pull keys clip card in the jewel case version and these are my pulls from atlantis i pulled a mino and a jinky so yeah, I guess I should have put key first, but it really doesn't matter. I'm not too worried about these since I'll be trading them pretty soon if I can. Now I have a couple larger inclusions I want to put away for shiny. So in advice, I pulled this for Taemin and then Atlantis, I pulled two Mino photo, uh, postcards. The other inclusions for Atlantis, I'm probably not going to be storing the stickers, but I might. It just depends. I'll just put everything in these three pocket, or sorry, one pocket pages, but I have three of them. Bigger inclusions for shiny are so big they don't really fit in any other pockets that I have right now. Yeah, these one page pockets are not like super official or anything. They're just like cheap ones that I got at Target, so, but they work for me. I think I'll put Taman's postcard first. Yeah, these postcards are so big. But I do like them. I think they're very beautiful. And I'll put both minnows in here. Since I have the exact same one, I don't need to put them on their own pages. And then I think back here I'll do the these cards. I don't really know what to call these. I th they're, they're like photo cards if you pop them out. But I'm not going to because I just don't want to. I'll put them back to back for now. Yeah, so there's those. I'm not going to be storing the stickers, I just don't really- I don't usually store stickers, like, ever, anyways, so I'm not going to this time. I also have this Taman little slide thing that I'm going to put on the back here. I just put it here because I'm not sure where else to put it right now. Yeah, I don't really have anywhere else for it, so it'll just go back here. And the last group in here is Super M. I don't have anything to put away for Super M today, 
but I do have Ten's ID card on the way, so I'll be able to put that away next time. So I think that's actually going to be everything for this video. I feel like it went by kind of, sort of fast, I'm not sure. It depends on when I'm editing, we'll see how long this takes. But as of now, I am done, so very exciting. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that you enjoyed this storing photo cards video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!